Welcome to this week's Pass the FE Exam video. In this episode, we'll be addressing a question from one of our viewers about the National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying, or NCWS's, Fundamentals of Engineering, or FE Exam, in its computer-based, or CBT, testing environment. This video is brought to you by PPI, a leader in engineering exam prep for the FE and PE exams since 1975. PPI provides expert prep courses and study resources designed to help you pass the FE exam the first time. PPI's live online courses include hours of lectures, problem solving demonstrations, exam strategy sessions, office hours, and a passing guarantee. When you take a live online course, PPI guarantees you will pass or you can take the on-demand course for free. With study guides, practice exams, and more, the PPI Learning Hub offers digital practice and review that you can take with you anywhere you have a device so that you can prepare during the times most convenient for you. Check out PPI today at ppi2pass.com to see all the options available for FE exam prep. Let's dive in. A listener recently posed a crucial question about the FE exam. Is there a way to see a video of the actual computer-based testing environment, especially focusing on how it looks on the screen and how to navigate between the test and the reference manual? This is an excellent question. I'm glad you asked it. If you're gearing up for the fundamentals of engineering or the FE exam, and you're wondering about the computer-based testing environment, you're in luck. The National Council of Examiners for Engineering and Surveying, or again, NCWES, they have you covered with a detailed video tutorial. And the tutorial is a fantastic resource for anyone wanting to get a real feel for the test interface. In this video, I'm going to provide a step-by-step -step guide on some of the key aspects of the CBT testing process. I'm going to cover an overview of the FE exam testing centers and registration the exam format and question types, how to use the keyboard hotkeys and the on-screen calculator during your exam, how to mark up items for review, and how to use the online or on-screen search tool, and also how to save and submit your work, which is pretty important. FE exam overview. The FE exam is a critical milestone for aspiring engineers. It's designed for recent graduates or students near the completion of their undergraduate engineering degree. The exam includes 110 questions with a total duration of six hours, including various segments like a non-disclosure agreement, a tutorial phase, the main exam, and a scheduled break. Testing centers and registration. The exam is administered at Pearson Professional Centers, known for their high security standards and very professional setting. Registration for the exam is online with several testing windows available throughout the year. Exam format and question types. CBT or computer-based tests include traditional multiple choice questions as well as alternative item types or AITs. AITs provide opportunities to assess the technical knowledge of examinees using methods not available through pencil and paper testing. All questions including AITs are scored as either correct or incorrect. There is no partial credit. AITs include but are not limited to the following. Multiple correct, allow examinees to select multiple answers, point and click, require examinees to click on part of a graphic to answer, drag and drop, require examinees to click on and drag items to match, sort, rank, or label, and fill in the blank, provide a space for examinees to enter a response to the question. Let me review these in more details, they are very important. So, examinees taking a computer-based NCWS exam may see up to five types of questions on their exam. The question types include traditional multiple choice questions that feature four options from which you should choose one correct answer. Multiple choice questions with multiple correct options feature more than four answer options from which to choose and allow for multiple answer options to be selected. Point and click questions require you to select one or more predetermined clickable areas that become visible when you move over the graphic. Drag and drop questions require you to click and drag an answer or options to sort, rank, match, or label a provided graphic. 
and fill in the blank questions requiring you to enter your response instead of choosing it from a list of options. How to use the keyboard hotkeys during your exam. Keyboard hotkeys give you shortcuts to common exam functions. For example, Alt-N will go to the next question. Alt-P will go to the previous question. Alt-F will flag the question for review. The underlying letter and the on-screen function can identify exam hotkeys. An on-screen calculator is also provided for your use. A digital version calculator of the TI-30XS is located in the top left corner of your exam should you need it. If you wish to review questions later, simply click the flag in the top of the right corner or use the Alt-F hotkey. At the end of each section, you have the review screen section that shows all flags and incomplete questions. Each question in the review screen has a link back to the original question in the exam. You must complete the review before time expires and please try to answer all questions. Reference materials for the NCWS exam include a line tool to aid in reading charts and graphs. To use it, select the line tool icon at the top left of the reference window. Click and hold the mouse button to drag a line across the screen. And when you release the mouse button, the line will become solid and remain at that location in that reference material until you actually delete it. You can create multiple lines on the same chart. To remove the lines, press Ctrl Z on your keyboard. You can remove up to 10 previous created lines. How to use the on-screen search tool. There is a split screen that features the exam questions on one side and the reference handbook on the other side. The handbook is a searchable PDF that allows examinees to quickly find terms and sections. This is important. Make sure you use the apostrophes and hyphens when you're doing a search. The word also has to be spelled correctly to see the result. The handbook also has convenient links to jump to each section relatively easily. Saving your work. Autosave. Some CBT systems autosave your progress as you answer questions. This ensures that your work is not lost if you have to interrupt your test for whatever reason. Manual save. If autosave is not enabled, you may have a save progress button or option. Click on this button to save your work periodically. Resume testing option. If you need to stop the test and come back later, use the resume test or continue test button to access your saved progress. Submitting your exam. Once you have completed all the questions in the exam, carefully review your answers to make sure that you don't need any necessary changes. If you do, go ahead and make them as quickly as possible. Locate the Submit Exam or Finish Exam button. This button will typically appear at the end of the exam for when you have completed all the required questions. Click on the Submit Exam or Finish Exam button. Once you submit your exam, your answers will be recorded and your performance will be evaluated. So make sure you're done before you submit. You may receive immediate feedback on your performance or be notified when the results are available. For more information on the Fundamentals of Engineering or FE computer-based exam, you can watch the video tutorials at the link shown on the screen. I hope you found this week's video helpful. In upcoming videos, we will answer more of your FE exam questions and run through more practice problems. Past the FE exam, we'll publish videos weekly, so please be sure to click that subscribe button and you'll get expert tips and tricks, including practice problem solutions weekly to ensure that you pass the FE exam. And please, I encourage you to ask questions in the comments below that I will read and respond to in future videos, like I did on this one. Maybe there's a specific topic you want me to cover or a question you need answered. Well, past the FE exam, we'll have you covered. I'll see you next week on Pass the FE Exam.